Hello, my name is Nelda. Oh no, erase it. I'm not Nelda. <laughs> Joking. <laughs>
um, and the doctor told me his um, he still can't fight infections and we need for him to be at home so I don't I can't remember how I met um, Jamie Covington and she would bring me food to the house like she would bring me rice and beans and all this food and um, and little did I know that at one point she was um, living in, our, um, in an RV and um, because she, they were trying to save money for a house. And it's like, wow, like she went out of her way to help me when her, herself was like, you know, going through things too. And so, yes, for I don't know how many months she would go every two weeks my house and take me food because I couldn't work uh, oh my gosh <laughs> I said am I gonna have to dress differently or um, I like I don't know I just thought they were gonna want me to impose things I wasn't ready for and it was to it was very different it wasn't when I started coming, it was because my kids wanted me to come. They were coming in the band. And so they kept talking me about it. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go this one time. And um, first Ricky started coming. And I didn't want to let him because, you know, he has his needs. And yes, Tom Cobb, like, volunteered to be Ricky's caretaker while he was here. He said, I'm like, but he's, he's not potty trained. Like, he's like, don't worry, I'll take care of it. I said, if he has an accident, whatever, I'll take care of it. So, so yes, it was Tom Cobb and that said, he can come. And so, so yeah, so at first I started coming because, because um, the kids were coming. Now I, I feel at home. Everybody's so welcoming. Um, they don't treat you like strangers. I don't feel judged. Yes, I want to be able to go out there and want to help. Sometimes I still struggle with with uh, being judged of maybe I'm not doing this right. And so so yes, I want to be able to go out there and, and what I want to do, really do it. Because um, so many people have helped me. And also with my kids, because they're good kids. They're, I mean, very respectful and everything. But sometimes they also struggle. They're like, no, I don't want to go up to them. And so I want them to, to see that it's okay to to plant a hand that no matter how small how big how old you are there's things you can do to help it doesn't mean it has to be money or anything sometimes it's a a hug um you know a good gesture a, a, a good compliment i don't want them to be shy about that because Sometimes people need that, but when it comes to other people, I I um, I think twice, and I don't I don't want to, because so much has been given to me that I I want to be able to, you know, do something for others. I've always wanted that somebody can translate in Spanish because there's um, Hispanic people that I know and I want to invite them, but they only speak Spanish. So I wish, I wish that for our church because um, I want them to experience what I, what I experience, that we, we are good people, we're kind, we're wanting to help and 
and so yeah, I, well, yeah, I, I would want for somebody that could translate somehow, so that more people could come. <laughs>